It's 10.30, that means it's breakfast time for these fish right here. We got a bunch of fish right here. We got some hungry fish right here. Look at Richie, Richie, come here. Oh, he sees it, oh, he sees it. Oh, the panther grouper stole it. Ah, he's in there. There we go. Ah, hey, it's you guys again. All I gotta say is just wait until you see the fish that I'm buying from the store today. I promise you, you guys are gonna love it. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Today we're buying the biggest and probably the most expensive fish from the fish store today. It's going inside of the saltwater pond and I am beyond excited for this one. This fish is not much of a predator, but I'll tell you what, the size of it, it is gonna go so well with all of our sharks, our groupers, our snappers, everything that's inside of the saltwater pond right now, it's gonna go so perfectly and it's gonna add to that reef-like vibe to the pond and I am so beyond excited. It's not even funny. Now I am gonna be going to get another fish here soon for the 4,000 gallon right here. You guys already know we have all the koi fish inside here, you know, the tarpon, all those big red tail catfish, platinums, regulars, you name it, we pretty much have it inside of this pond. Now the fish store doesn't open up until noon today, so that gives me a little bit of time to get everything prepared, everything ready for this new fish. Part of that, as you guys all know, we gotta feed everything. All right, it's 10.30, that means it's breakfast time for these fish right here. And let me tell you what, they know the blue bucket. Look at that, oh, sorry guys, didn't mean to scare you. They know the blue bucket, so. Here you guys go, get some of that, get some of that loving goodness. Look at those koi fish going to work. There's the tarpon. I like to throw a lot of food to these guys in the morning because, you know, gives them something to do throughout the day. Oh, yeah. Gives them something to do throughout the day. Now, these koi are getting much, much bigger. I think we have about eight or nine of them in here, and uh, I absolutely love feeding them because you really can just come out here, throw food to them whenever you can. That one right there, the all white or marble, where is Marble? I don't know where Marble went. He's somewhere inside of here, is uh, my other favorite. Here's Jeremy, buddy thinks he's gonna eat some pellets, but he doesn't. I'll throw one more scoop to these guys right here, and that'll keep them occupied for the day. Oof, a lot of water on this, uh, on this lid right here. All right, also, I think I'm gonna be getting back to two videos a week, which is super exciting. School, I've kinda got it figured out to a science how I'm gonna be able to get two videos out a week and get all my schoolwork done and a whole lot more. My life has been hectic, my life has been crazy. I've been on the go, I've been on the move, I've been moving my girlfriend. It's just been a lot, but you know what? It feels good. I think I've got it all under control right now. And uh, we're gonna head over to a, a local waterway so we can catch some fresh food for the saltwater pond. We are in route in the Brown Turd 2, my favorite bait spot. I go there, I can catch pilchards, I can catch perch, I can catch mullet, I can catch glass minnows. It don't matter, the options are endless. I know I can go catch stuff that my sharks, my groupers, and my snappers would love to eat. They'll devour it. Let me make sure we're uh, safe here. But the Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box, I now have a discount code for you all. I'll have it popping up right here on the screen. You guys can now save 10%. Get your foot in the door on your first month. Use the code popping up right here on the screen. Also some big news with the Fish Guy shop. We have some new apparel coming out. We have some new mystery boxes coming out. We're just, you know, building an empire, a Fish Guy empire. The brand's gonna be just so awesome. Fast forward, if I think just five years, 10 years down the road, how amazing it's all gonna be. The Fish Guy, uh, the Fish Guys are all gonna be united and it's gonna be a freaking awesome thing and I cannot wait. But we're heading there right now. We're gonna go catch some fish with the net, go back, feed some fish. I'm doing my best to give you guys, you know, a little bit of the fishing, a little bit of the aquarium stuff, saltwater pond, all that jazz. So uh, I think I'm doing a good job mixing it all up. Just showing my fish guy lifestyle, ladies and gents. We're heading there now, and I'll see you guys when we pull in. Let's do it. All right, we are here. We've arrived, and we're going to go see if we got any bait here. As of right now, the tide is extremely high because we have a full moon, which means we have king tide. Okay, king tide means the water is a heck of a lot higher than it ever is. And right now, it's not even fully high tide, but you guys can see just how high the water is. This is the boat ramp, you know, people come and put their boats, oh my God, holy crap, did you guys just see that? Big fish right there, big, oh, oh, look at the mole getting chased. Look at the mole getting chased, holy crap. Hang on, do we have a lot of mullet right here? Something big just absolutely exploded 
on them. It's fall, it's the mullet run, it's the best time of the year. Let me show you guys actually what I caught last night. You guys are gonna love this. It's a big old fish in the bed of the brown turd. You guys are gonna like it. Look at these needlefish. Got a few needlefish right there, and then we've got our uh, culprits right there, the mullet. Hang on, let me see. If I put a little uh, little sunglasses on there, you guys can see the mullet right there, and uh, where'd those needlefish go? Oh, the needlefish are kind of moving out the back. Look underneath the dock right there, underneath that little bridge, you guys can see how many finger mullet are just sitting there. They're uh, seeking shelter because there's probably a big old fish in the area. But the good news is that we're not going to have a problem catching uh, catching any bait fish. That's for dang sure. Now we also have, I just saw a couple barracudas. I saw a couple pear fish, whole lot of stuff. But like I was mentioning, best time of the year. Take a look at what's inside my cooler. Let's see what we got here. Any guesses? Leave them down below in the comments. I'll give you guys three seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Look at that right there. That right there is a keeper snook, 31 and a half inches. Look at that beautiful tail. My favorite fish to catch by far in this time of the year. These guys are gorging. They're feeding like crazy. They've spawned all summer and they're ready to eat. And uh, I got lucky last night, caught me a keeper fish. We can have the fam over for dinner. And it's uh, one of my favorite things. I love catching fish. I love harvesting fish. I love filleting fish. I love eating fish. It brings the family together. Being a fish guy, just something about it. Everybody gets involved. But there's a bunch of mullet here. There's a bunch of perch. There's a bunch of pilchards. We're going to get the net right now, and we're going to start fishing. It shouldn't take too long. All right. We're gonna double bucket it right now. I got my net now The thing is I don't really need these fish to be alive because they're gonna be too big for the sharks and everything to eat So I'll probably end up chopping them up. So we're just gonna take what we need and uh, Eventually once the mullet run is over. I'm gonna come and just catch like 300 fish and just freeze them that way. I have food for the fish for uh, a Few months that way. I don't have to spend any money on food. I can just have it ready to roll in the freezer so i'm gonna get my net ready here 10 foot cast net if you guys are wondering i think this is like a half inch mesh I'm just gonna load it up this is a big net i'm still uh still kind of learning to throw it but the good part is if i only open it up halfway we're gonna have enough fish to feed the uh feed the pond that is for dang sure so go down right about there another one right here this is a heavy net. Oh my God, the, guys, there's fish everywhere. They're literally getting chased in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the intercoastal. Just gonna check the tank, check the net for tangles. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. Now there's a bunch of them underneath there that we already saw, but I did see a school that was sitting right over here lingering. Let's just go, let's take this bucket. Let's go for a little walk. Oh, they're right here. I think they're right here. I think they're right here. Really shallow too, perfect. Good size too, here we go. See, I have trouble opening up that back side of the net, but you guys just wait and see. There was only about 30 of them in that school, and looks like we got just about all of them. Look at how many. Perfect size little, little mullet. I mean, this is like perfect, select, perfect size mullet right there. Little tiny fingers, perfect size for the fish to eat. Can't ask for much better. We're about to get kicked out of here from the park ranger. Watch this, I guarantee you guys. I don't think we're allowed to be fishing in the middle. Plus, I don't think I'm supposed to be parked right there. Pick this bad boy up, put it in my bucket. We got exactly all what we needed. Let me show you guys these little things right here. Now, if I was going fishing, not essentially the perfect size bait. These are a little on the small end, but for my sharks and my groupers and my snappers and everything, you can't ask for much better right there. And just like that, we've got about 15 to 20 perfect little finger mullet. Now I'll actually cut these guys up. Well, some of these, like the real little ones, like probably like this one in my hands, I can probably give to the snapper hole, which would be great. But ones that are a little bit on the bigger side, I'll chop up and I'll uh, feed chunks of it to the sharks and it's going to be an epic feeding. Fresh fish, probably going to drop a couple to, to the catfish in the freshwater pond. Like I was mentioning, best time of the year, everything's feeding on those bait fish. There is literally no better time, especially once the, uh, once the temperature drops a little bit. Once it gets a little cooler here in South Florida, forget about it. I'll be out here all day, every single day for the whole entire fall because even in the middle of the day, the fish are still feeding. We're going to take all those fish home. Meet you guys at the saltwater pond. We're gonna do a feeding. And then this fish store will be opening up in the next about 30 minutes. And we're gonna go get ourselves a new fish. Fingers crossed it's still there. Cause if it's not, I'm totally screwed. So let's hope, let's hope it's there. A bunch of bait fish, an empty bucket, a knife. It's time to get to feeding ladies and gents.
almost just cut my toe off if there wasn't a uh, little sheath on this thing. Is that how you say it? Sheath? Chief? Holster? I don't know what you call that thing. Cover? Whatever. But we got a couple big ones in here that I want to feed to the catfish. Let's see this one, and we'll do this one. Perfect. These two we're going to feed to the catfish. And we may have to go back and get one more for the tarpon. How's everybody doing? Here's the tarpon. Watch this. Tarpon. See ya. And here's Jeremy. Go boy. One more. Oh, Willie. Sorry, you're a little late to the party. You snooze, you lose. Let's go grab him one. Because we don't need, we don't really need all of these for the uh, saltwater pond. This looks like a good one right here. Perfect. Because we don't want to like overfeed them, but we want to have enough just so they're not too aggressive towards uh, our new fish. Here you go, boy. Perfect. Comes right up. Swallows it, and he's on his way. Wipe the slime right here, baby. Just leave it there. Woo! Alrighty. Welcome to a little bit of a fillet with Jack here. Fish got Jack here ready for operation. We got a bunch of mullet inside here. We got nothing inside here. I'm gonna use the bottom of this bucket to cut a bunch of this up. That way we have some nice chunks for the fish. Just gonna cut them in little chunks. Not too big, about an inch or two. Really make sure I'm not gonna cut my hand off here because that wouldn't be good. I still gotta go get my new fish. Ooh, this isn't gonna end well, I don't think. But that right there is just about all we're going for. Just little bite-sized chunks for the grouper, the snapper, and the sharks. Now, I know you guys haven't seen the fish quite yet, but this fish is gonna cost me a pretty penny. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this of me adding these super awesome, exotic big fish to the saltwater pond, please leave a like on this video. It'll help me out tremendously. If we can get this video pushed out, you know, I'll be able to make more of these videos, get some more awesome fish. So you guys don't understand how much hitting the like button helps out the video. So uh, do me a favor, hit the like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. And I can't wait to head to the fish store in 28 minutes to go uh, pick this fish up. This is going to be probably the freshest meal that these sharks and or these, well, actually, no, because I have fed live before. So shouldn't say that the freshest meal, but I'll tell you what, my fish are definitely spoiled with uh, very good food, all right? That is for dang sure. They eat fresher fish than I do, and I, uh, I'm i a fish guy. I go out there and fish like all the freaking time. So we're gonna cut a bunch of these mullet up, and then we're gonna go get to feeding, ladies and gentlemen. For the most part, I think I got enough cut up right here. Now I still have an extra like, I don't know, 10 to spare inside there, but we're gonna walk over to the saltwater pond right now because I wanna show you guys how good the lionfish is doing. Look at him right there. He's kind of just perched up right on the corner like a typical line fish would do. Richie Rich knows that uh, something's about to go down. The filter's off, the cover's off. He knows it's about to be feeding time. There's uh, Olaf, the snowflake eel. There's Marty, the zebra eel. We got the panther grouper in here. Everybody else, the uh, snapper way in the back. But we're gonna be feeding these guys in just a second. I really, really wanna get that pond just looking stellar because it bothers me that the rock structure just crumbles. So. I guess I'm gonna have to literally get in there and build with cement, like aquarium cement, a perfect rock structure. Cause I want to have that be like such an awesome full blown reef from like little fish all the way to the big predators and everything can cohabitate really well together. I am not thinking, I literally brought the wrong bucket over. But like I was saying, I wanna just have it just be just like a reef and not the rocks to be getting knocked over all the freaking time, you know? So we got a couple fish left over inside of here. We're gonna go ahead, feed it to these guys. I'm gonna keep a couple just in case for spare. But um, let's get to this. Willie, Willie, you want this boy? Oh, that was the tarpon. Oh, Jeremy. Boom, there you go, buddy. Hopefully the glare isn't too, too bad for you guys. Here's the poon. Woo, buddy, perfect. All right, Willie, come here, big boy. Come here. Boom, good fish. You want another one? Oh, that one slipped by you? I think that one did slip by you. Jeremy, here you go. Boom. Perfect. These fish literally, they just don't stop eating. Okay, I'm going to save that for the saltwater pond just in case we got to keep feeding the sharks. Also, let me know what you guys think of me filming myself, okay? Is it a little all over the place? Do you think it would be better if I had a, uh, a filmer or do you guys like it because it's a little bit more of a connection? Let me know down below what you guys think. I try to do my best to film the best I can by myself, but uh, having a filmer definitely makes it easier for me. But um, if you guys enjoy it like this, let me know. I'll keep it going. All right, we got a bunch of fish right here. We got some hungry fish right here. Look at Richie. Richie, come here. Get over here. Let me get you guys some food. Come here, boy. Look at this head. Look at this head right here. <sighs> Bloody. Does that not scream shark? Rich? Richie. Oh, crap. Hey, come here. Richie. Boom, we got it. 
Heck yeah, mullet head down the hatch. Oh, look who came off the rock. Look who's ready to eat. The brand new lionfish. He's actually chasing down a scale right now. Let me see. Let's get a little chunk. Come here. Maybe a tail. Let's see. Let's see if he wants to eat this. Come here, boy. Come up here. Oh, he sees it. Oh, he sees it. Oh, the panther grouper stole it. Oh, you son of a gun. Drop another little tail inside here. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh. The shock, the shock, the shock, the shock. Look at the panther grouper right there. He looks so dang good. Oh, this pond is seriously just so freaking awesome. Can you guys imagine when we have uh, the new fish inside here? Come on, there goes the line fish. He sees it. I think the line fish sees it. You guys can see the chunk right there on the bottom. He's going, he's inching towards it. Go get it, buddy. Here he goes. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. I don't know what he's doing. He's literally looking at me, but look at how cool he is. The lionfish. I told you guys in my last video, if the video got 3,000 likes, I would go get two more for my pond. And as of right now, I think it's sitting at 2,600 likes. 400 likes on my two videos ago, I think it was actually, two videos ago. Uh, 3,000 likes I'm gonna go, and I'm going to get more. Alrighty, that's enough of the above water feeding. Let's head underwater. The fish are all fed. We're here at the fish store now. We're gonna go inside here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what they got. They should be getting a shipment here today. That actually might be it right there. No, it's not. Okay, well, hopefully the fish is still here, guys. Literally, I'm gonna keep this raw. I'm gonna keep this authentic. Two days ago, it was here. They were closed yesterday, so I got high hopes. If not, we're gonna have to do something else. I don't really know, but let's head inside. Fingers crossed we got this big, beautiful fish. Let's do it. So this right here is what we came for. This is a big, huge, beautiful queen angel fish, a show size, very tough to come across at this size right here. Let me tell you what, this thing is glowing, not an imperfection on this fish. I cannot wait to see this guy inside of the saltwater pond. I'm happy he's still here, still for sale. Nobody's bought it yet, so that means it's mine. I'm gonna get them to bag it up and we're gonna take this guy home and I can't wait. We've made it back home. Look at that school of koi fish right there. The sun is starting to go down. I actually had to go, oh, look at all of them. They think they're getting fed. I, oh, there's the tarpon. We gotta get this water clear, Jack. I had to go do some stuff on the main channel, the fish guys, but uh, we got them here. I told them I need a lot of oxygen in the bag. Looky here, ladies and gentlemen. Looky here. We got them in the bag. This is probably gonna be a crap load of water. I don't know. Okay, he is double bagged. Come here. Get one rubber band off. Let's see how this guy's doing. The great thing about this fish is he's a pellet eater. Ah, he's in there. Ladies and gentlemen, he's inside here. Ugh. There we go. Holy cow, that was heavy. All right, we're gonna let him float. We're gonna let him do his thing inside here for like a good 30 minutes. I know I'm just filming a bag, but you guys can kind of get a sneak peek of that beauty inside there. Holy cow, it's gonna look so good. This has gotta be one of the coolest fish inside here. Once you guys see this fish, I know you're gonna love it. Leave a like on the video. Let's get 3,000 likes on this video. This one cost me a pretty penny, so uh, I'd appreciate if you guys leave a like. I've got this fish drip acclimating right now. Let's leave some name suggestions down below in the comments. Blow that comment section up with names, and we also need a, uh, I think we're gonna name the lionfish. Actually, we are gonna name the lionfish Simba right now. Look at him, he's coming up. He's like midwater column right now. Look at that fish in the sunlight. Is that not one of the coolest things inside of the pond? That looks absolutely stunning. This pond, guys, this pond, I'm telling you right now, it's missing one or two fish, maybe three or four fish, maybe five or six fish, maybe a heck of a lot of fish to complete a reef, but uh, it's gonna be a journey. Probably it's gonna take years before this thing is, uh, before I'm happy with the turnout of that pond, right? As of right now, I give it like a C. But we're working our way up. We're adding a beautiful fish. Blow that comment section up. Let's get some awesome names for this guy. Maybe Pikachu. We got Charizard in here. I don't know. You let me know down below because that fish 
is absolutely stunning. And he eats pellets. I have a bunch of pellets. Got them from the store. We're jip acclimating him. Probably going to need about another 30 minutes before uh, we're ready to rock and roll. But this pond looks beautiful. Let me know what you guys think you should name him. Leave a like on the video. And while you're down there in the comment section, let me know what other fish you guys think we need to add. I think a remora might be next. I don't know. Just... There's a lot to go down, and uh, I'm excited. Stick along for the journey. Subscribe to the channel. It's going to be absolutely freaking epic. We got a couple big ponds, a couple big tanks. It's going to be epic. I love you guys. I'll see you guys when the fish is ready to go inside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is officially time to get this stunning fish right here inside of the pond. Now, don't go anywhere tomorrow. We are going to have an update for you guys, and uh, I'm not going to use a net because these guys have serious, serious gill plates on the side. And uh, believe it or not, they'll get stuck. His gills will get stuck in the net, and that just wouldn't be good. So, come here, big boy. Okay, there you go. Oh, let me, oh, there he goes. He's in. He just went in the pond. There he is. You guys can hardly, hardly see him. Oh, there he is. He went right into the rock right there. Uh, looks like he's going to do really good. I did not have the GoPro as of right now, but he is in the pond. He looks like he's doing well. He's swimming around. Nobody really even cares that he's inside of here. The shark is kind of just sitting there. Everybody looks really good. Take a look at that fish right there. Comment down some names down below for this guy. I'm super excited to see how he does in here. Don't go anywhere. Tomorrow we're going to come out here. I'm going to give you guys an update. We're going to try and feed him. I've got a bunch of pellets to feed him, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Well, in like the six years of being in the aquarium hobby, this has never happened to me in my entire life. I was just cleaning up the box right over there and look at what I found inside of the box. It is some sort of goby. I was just dumping all the water out of the bags and then this guy came out right here. I guess it must have been a little bit of an oops. They left him inside of there by accident. So I'm gonna run him back to the store. But uh, that has never happened to me in my lifetime. Okay. In my years of being a fish guy, that has never, ever, 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 ever happened to me. That is absolutely crazy. I can't freaking believe it. I was kind of starstruck. Too bad it's not like a platinum freaking grouper or something because uh, I sure as heck would keep it. No, I'm just kidding. You got to be, you got to do people right. I'm going to run this guy back to the store. Um, it's his lucky day. But who knows? Maybe eventually we'll be able to get like 30 of these guys, 20 of these guys, and just have a whole school of them along the bottom sifting. Might be like a sand sifter. Might be a... Uh, I don't know what it is. If you know what type of fish it is, leave it down below. Alrighty, y'all. It is the next day, and this big guy right here is doing absolutely amazing. Come take a look. Look at that fish right there, swimming all around the pond, or shall I say prancing. He is running the show inside here. That is like what we've been missing 110%. Look at that fish. That is such a stunning and beautiful fish, and he's been like coming right up to my fingers like he wants to eat, and that's exactly why I have this right over here, which is uh, the food that the fish store was uh, feeding them. They were kind enough to give it to me because uh, it was a pricey fish and they love me there and I love them. So I've got some pellets here. I'm going to see if this guy wants to eat. Let's see. Come here, big guy. Let's see if he comes over and eats these pellets. Now he's been in here for what? Maybe all of uh, 12 hours, maybe a little bit longer, but we got pellets right there on the ground. Here he comes. Here he comes, you guys. Oh, come on, please eat it. The shark. I think the shark wants to eat it. How crazy is that? Yeah, he looks at, he's looking at him. He's looking at him. There he goes. There he goes. He's eating him. He's eating him. Look at that. Eating him right off the bottom. That is freaking awesome. Oh, my God. That is such a good sight to see. This fish is doing well. We're definitely going to be getting more angel fish inside here. I love how they look. I mean, it's what we've been missing in the pond. Even here comes the shark. Look at that. Holy crap, the pond is coming together. Look at him right here. He's coming right up, almost onto the surface. <gasps> oh, look at that, off the surface. Holy crap, he literally was about to eat that one right off the surface. And if he comes up, let's see. Come, Come here, buddy. Sometimes he likes to follow up the hands. You guys, it is safe to say that the new angelfish is doing absolutely incredible, doing awesome. I cannot be more happy with this fish. Please, please, please leave a comment down below what you guys think we should name them. And there'll be more angel fish coming soon. I can guarantee you all that. Be sure to go check out fishguide.shop. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.